next and final force that we are going to talk about is weight. One of the most important factors to understand about weight is gravity. Gravity is the force that attracts all bodies to the center of the Earth. And weight is the force on the aircraft that is always directed to the center of the Earth because of gravity. Weight is distributed throughout the entire airplane, but there is a point where its effect is centered. This point is called the center of gravity, and if we were to put the plane in any attitude, then it would balance along this point. In flight, the aircraft will always rotate around the center of gravity. The weight of the aircraft is determined by the sum of all of the airplane's parts, the amount of fuel, and its payload, which is just the sum of people, cargo, and freight on board. The distribution of weight is very important in an aircraft. Since the aircraft rotates along the center of gravity, its position is directly related to the stability of the aircraft. When an aircraft is loaded, it is vital that the center of gravity remains within certain limitations. If the center of gravity is positioned forward of these limits, the nose will be heavy and the plane will want to pitch down. If the center of gravity is loaded behind these limits, then the plane will be tail heavy and it will want to pitch upward. Anytime the center of gravity is placed outside of these limits, the aircraft will either not fly or be so difficult to control it becomes dangerous to even try. Flying encompasses two major problems. The first, overcoming the weight of an object by some opposing for force. And the second, controlling the object in flight. Both problems are related to the object's weight and the location of the center of gravity. During a flight, the weight of the aircraft is constantly changing as fuel is being consumed. Because of this, the center of gravity is constantly changing because it is found at the point of the aircraft where the weight is centered. A pilot must constantly adjust the controls of the aircraft to keep the plane balanced along this new center of gravity. Now that we've learned about gravity and weight, we'll go ahead and move on to some activities to demonstrate this. All you will need for this activity are two balls that are different sizes or two other unbreakable objects. First, stand on a chair. Then hold both objects at arm's length from an equal height. Next, drop both objects at the same time and observe which ones hit the ground first. You can also try this with two different objects and you will see that they still fall to the ground at the same rate. Both objects fell at the same rate and hit the ground at the same time. This happened because gravity is the force that pulls all objects to the center of the Earth. Even though the objects have different masses and sizes, the force of gravity still stays the same. In an aircraft, lift is required to counteract the weight of the plane. When lift is greater than the weight, the vertical speed will increase and the airplane will climb. For this next activity, all you will need is a small ball and a piece of paper. First, drop a sheet of paper horizontally and the golf ball from the same height at the same time. Now, crumple the sheet of paper into a tight ball. Next, drop the golf ball in the crumpled sheet of paper from the same height at the same time. The sheet of paper hit the floor after the small ball and the crumpled paper hit the floor at the same time as the small ball. This happens because even though both objects are still being pulled by gravity at the same rate, the horizontal sheet of paper has a small mass and a large surface area allowing air resistance to oppose the force of gravity and slow the paper down. The crumpled paper has a smaller surface area and is less susceptible to air resistance.